So I've got here the Lightning Fighters from the Skies of Fire box set. Uh, you get three per sprue and you get one sprue in the Skies of Fire box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to build one. Uh, I've got the sprue, I've got some plastic glue. This is in fact Games Workshop glue in a Tamiya pot with a brush applicator. Clippers. Uh, these are the ones I got free with Conquest. And a hobby knife, which I'm going to use to remove the mould lines. Though to be fair, there seem to be very few in evidence. So I'm going to separate the pieces from the sprue and clean them up off camera because that's going to be very boring to watch. There's no particularly small fragile bits that you need to be careful of removing them from the sprue except for perhaps these LAS cannons here. Uh, the multi-lasers seem a little bulkier so I'm not going to take you through how to clip things off the sprue. If you've got a particularly delicate piece then cut it away from the edge that it is, not necessarily right next to it. Particularly if it's a lot thinner than this, I'm thinking things like, I'm trying to think of some things thinner than this, but you get them occasionally. So I'll come back in a second with the pieces cleaned and ready to assemble. So I've got all the pieces cleaned. As you can see, uh, if you exclude the ordnance, this is a 12 piece kit. It's not super complicated. Uh, if you are going to use all six missiles, and you get 18 missiles in the kit, um, 12 Sky Strike, 6 Hell Strike, then I would recommend you attach the missiles to the wings before assembly. Because if you leave it until afterwards, the inner two spaces you're going to have trouble reaching. Whether you want to uh, use all six missiles per plane is up to you. On a lightning strike that would make it 29 points, which is, and this is the wrong way round, a lot of points for a fighter. These kits are a lot less complicated than some of the orc kits. So, the main hull is literally just two parts. And I think the fact that it is less complicated is why it can afford to be the size that it is. There you go. because very quickly it starts to go together. You've got the intake fan. Everything is designed so that the way it fits in is the right way. Which makes it really hard for you to mess up assembly. Because I imagine there's lots of people out there who've had trouble with the Warlord Titan legs or the Reaver Titan legs and they're like, oh, what if it goes wrong? And basically, see there's again only one way that fits snug and that's the correct way around to put it. When they've designed this kit, they've made it really hard for you to mess up building it. So straight away, We've got a lot of that done. So next I'm going to put the lasers in, because otherwise we've got to reach in with the wings on and that's not necessarily the easiest thing to do. One. Let's sort out and plug in one wing. So 
so you can see how quickly this guy is going together which is basically a testament to how well designed this kit is I was expecting these to be smaller than they are when I first saw them at Warhammer World I was surprised at the size of them I'll do a size comparison with some other planes in a minute That is a built lightning. That's how quickly that goes together. For size comparison, we've got a DACA jet. Now DACA jets are smaller, but DACA jets are how many pieces? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, not necessarily more, but they do seem more complicated. I imagined, yeah, 12, because of the number of pieces involved. So the hull in this is two pieces with another one for the cockpit, and then suddenly it's got a shape and it looks like it's going together. Yeah, if you look at the Thunderbolt, the Thunderbolt doesn't have that many more pieces, I think, but is a substantially bigger plane. Again, is it? Let's cover one with the other. Thunderbolt's a bit bigger, but not hugely so. But yes, that is building the Lightning Fighter uh, for Aeronautica Imperialis. I enjoyed it. It's a really nice kit. It goes together really quickly and really easily. And I look forward to getting them painted and playing them in AI. If you've liked this video, hit like and subscribe. If you want to chat, leave a comment below. But otherwise, good gaming.